Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Warren and continuing in our SHOT Show Vintage Modern Rifle Build. Today we're going to talk about the lower assembly that we're using. Uh, if we dive right into it, we're going to start with the stripped lower that we're going to be using. This one is made by Palmetto State Armory. As a lot of people know, Palmetto State Armory makes a lot of stripped lower receivers uh, that are used by, by plenty of people we've used. Quite a few of them. They've always been high quality. Uh, they've always been good receivers and we'll continue to use them. This one we chose uh, specifically because it has the style that we're going for. It says property of US government M4A1. And so that is kind of following in line with the vintage theme that we were going for. Aside from that, it is just your standard forged stripped lower receiver. We have a buffer tube. The grip that we're going to be using is by Brownells, and this is one of their retro grips. So this is the old M16A1 style grip, which is following with the aesthetic that we're going for, as well as the stock. This is a CAR15 stock from Brownells as a part of their retro series as well, which follows that aesthetic that we're going for. What will be in that buffer tube is a real special piece of kit. This is a JP silent captured buffer spring. If you've never used a JP silent captured buffer spring, go get yourself a JP silent captured buffer spring. They are voodoo magic when it comes to slicking up a rifle. They make rifles run so smooth. And then this being paired with the fact that we have an adjustable gas block and one of their bolt carrier groups, this is gonna be a very smooth and quiet rifle if you were to run it suppressed. And then finally, the trigger that we're choosing for this is a Timney. Uh, this is one of their 75th anniversary triggers, which is the same as their uh, standard AR-15 triggers that they make. The reason why we're going with the 75th anniversary version of this is you'll notice it's black instead of gold, which when the trigger is sitting in the lower receiver, sometimes through the bottom, you can see that bit of the, the trigger color, and this one is black. Again, following with the theme of the gun, it's a minor detail, but it matters when you're trying to keep a certain style of what you're building. Uh, Timney triggers, we've used a lot of them. Uh, they've always been super reliable, uh, great high quality triggers, can't say enough about them. So next up, we're gonna get some of these parts Cerakoted, including the lower receiver, as well as the stripped upper and some of the small parts. Then we're gonna assemble everything and take it out to the range and shoot it. So join us next time to continue this build.